Greetings, Strategic Sage here with another AI War 2 patch update. It's been quite a while. It was late May last time I was able to do one of these. Arkin has been pounding away mostly on creating the under the hood infrastructure for multiplayer. And so it's been in beta a lot of that time as they dealt with various bugs associated with getting that in place. But there have been some significant impacts still on the surface that we're going to look at. So we now definitely have faster load and fat. <sighs> Greetings everybody, Strategic Sage here with another AI War 2 patch update. It's been quite a while, it's been six weeks since like late May, last time I was able to do one of these. Most of the interim, the game has been in various beta builds, hammering out bugs related to building in the multiplayer, the core infrastructure for that in the game. But there have been some changes worth noting also for the present. There are faster load times and smaller save game files as part of getting the game ready for multiplayer. So you may notice eight and a half seconds. That's much faster than usual. How fast it loads depends on your system, but there's definitely been a significant improvement on that. One other thing that's going along with that to keep things compatible in case not everybody has the same set of expansions is you can now disable or enable those at your whim. So that's a nice little bit. And then there's also been work done by Badger on the second expansion, Zenith Onslaught. And some of that's going to make a significant impact here. I think probably the biggest feature change between here and the previous update video that I did what is the Fireteam Specialist. And what that is, is it allows the Hunter Fleet specifically to dedicate units to go after specific targets and not be added to the general pool that just goes after whatever it chooses. So for example, major data centers have been getting exogalactic strikes against them over periods of time, and now that's no longer an issue because the way they're dealing with that now is the AI dedicates specific Hunter ships to go after those and focus on only those. This has impacts in other scenarios. For example, if you have a powerful allied scourge faction, one of the frustrations that a lot of players had with that is they would go destroy a bunch of neighboring warp gates and add to your AI progress. Well, they don't do that anymore. But the AI will dedicate hunter ships to go after them specifically. Or, let's say there's a Nanocost or Dark Spire faction running amok in the galaxy, but the player actually isn't that powerful. The AI can dedicate even strong extragalactic ships, you know, Hunter Annihilators, Motherships, etc., to go after that faction that's a major threat. And then once that faction has been dealt with, they don't just hang out and attack the player, they will warp out of the galaxy. So it's much more dynamic, it's much more nuanced in terms of how the hunter fleet can divide up its forces it can go after that one specific target and then disperse instead of having everything in one general pool where it wasn't as flexible to deal with the various dynamics that can be present in a galaxy with balance of power and all of that then there have been the usual bug fixes some achievements that weren't working were knocked out um, you know Various like fleet strength calculations have been corrected. There was also a pretty big one at one point where AI ships weren't leveling up their health and shields beyond Mark 1 level, even if they were like Mark 6 or 7. And that was making the game easier for quite a while. So if you have a save on, I think, version 2073, then when you upgrade to the new version, you're going to really feel that, uh, that hit in the difficulty curve. But it's basically just returning it back to where it's supposed to be. Then there's also, let me load up a quick game that I put in here to show this. If we take a look at, this is the Parasite Fleet. It's been changed again. And you can see they now, they had four Mugger Frigates and the Parasites, and they dropped it down to two Mugger Frigates, but they felt maybe that was too weak. So now they've added in the Hydras. And so they're more closely in line with the other fleets that have three to four different types of ships. And they just gave them different kinds of parasites. I think that's probably a pretty good compromise. 
be interesting to see. I did my last game on the Parasite, so I'm not going to be doing one again with them soon, but interesting to see how that all shakes out. And then also the Spire games are going to change a little bit as well. The AI Spire debris ships that they get, if they capture them, are going to be much more dangerous now. And one of the frustrating things to some players playing in the Spire is that once you get the Imperial fleet, you can't really see very well what they're doing. So now they grant vision on any planet that they're on so that you can watch the show if you just kind of want to hang out and have them mop up the galaxy. So that's pretty much what we've got for the latest patch, 2090. The Fireteam Specialists, again, definitely the biggest element. And if this remains stable with no major issues, I'm looking forward to getting into another AI War 2 run that's been delayed a little bit as we wait for this. I will, of course, also be returning with more patch updates as developments warrant. Thanks for watching, everybody.